What's up with it, man? It's the boy Push, host of the No Fluff Podcast, aka Swag Whips Bag. You know how I play with it, man. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Pause, you feel me? What's happening, yo? Soon as you get on this live, make sure you comment the word future. I got something super special going on for the people who rock with me. We not cross marketing crazy. We want to make sure I got the folks who rock with me getting this position first because it is not enough room for everybody on the Zoom. I'm about to break the internet. Uh, y'all know when it comes to this rental car game, I get busy. I'm telling you, soon as you get on this live, just comment the word future. I got to make sure y'all get right and not get tight. You did. Somebody said, I joined the five-day challenge and joined the community. Okay, then, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's Sunday, fun day. Listen, dog, I ain't going to lie. During Mastermind weekends, it's the worst time to try to get in touch with me. You know, guys, are, okay. During Mastermind weekends, it's the worst time to try to get in touch with me because I'll be with my mentees day and night. Do y'all know that? I be with my mentees day and night. I'm not going fraud, yo. Listen, I'm going to explain something to y'all. When it, t- when it comes to pouring into my mentees, spending time with my students, when it comes to these masterminds, I do not play, bro. Y'all already know I do not play the BS. So listen, you know what I mean? So as soon as somebody, oh, somebody said, God bless you. I appreciate you because I ain't going to lie. Pollen is worse than COVID for me. How many people, look, I want to ask a real question real quick before I even get started on helping y'all get some money and stuff like that. How many of y'all feel like pollen is worse than COVID? How many of y'all feel like pollen is worse than COVID? Me in particular, I know for 100% fact that pollen is worse than COVID. I hate it. It be having me, I, I really feel like I'm alien though. Somebody said, big facts, we left Push Polish after midnight, LOL. Yo, listen, man, when it comes to, when it comes to this, man, this, this, this mentorship shit, I take it serious. When it comes to this coaching shit, I take it serious. When it comes to pouring into people's lives, helping them get their mindset, their credit, all that together, I take that shit very much serious. So if you one of those people who take your education serious, you take your financial literacy serious, you take your future and your investment serious, comment the word future as soon as you get on this motherfucking live because I don't want you to miss it. This is the opportunity that y'all been waiting for. For all y'all people who are dying when I be like, yo, come to my 5K masterclass. When I be like, come to my 10K masterclass. Y'all want to be dying because y'all really, really want to come, but y'all just don't have that work ethic or that mindset yet to invest 5K. Comment future so I can get you in the game. You don't got to worry about that 5K. I'm going to show you what it is because this is it's about that time. Some of y'all, I feel like, this is just what I feel like. I feel like some of y'all are really ready to get into the game. Y'all tired of the bullshit and y'all ready to get this work ethic. I'm about to explain something that you need though. Hold on, I got to order my Starbucks first. Let me order my Starbucks first though. Stylist. Can I get a venti ice chai latte with soy milk, please? Yeah, venti ice soy chai. And then also let me get a, a passion fruit refresher with lemonade, please. And you can make grande. Mm-hmm. That's it. And then let me get a, a, a banana loaf warmed up, please. For that refresher, did you mean the um, pineapple refresher? Let's run the pineapple. I'm sorry? I said passion fruit, but we can run the pineapple. No, we can do the pi- passion. Okay, appreciate it. All right. Uh, total is going to be fourteen eighty five at the window. Did you get the banana loaf? Yeah, I have the venti ice soy chai, the grande ice, the passion, the lemonade, and then the banana that little up. That's lit. You're my homie. Let's go. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, cool. So, with that being said, let me let me explain something to y'all real quick. I, I want to be very frank with y'all. Right? Listen, I want to be very frank with y'all. So, look. This is what I've been preaching all weekend. I'm going to keep preaching it because it's the, it's the facts. It's the facts of life. Right? I got multi-millionaires coming to my house to come speak to people who have to understand a few things. We giving y'all a place. We have people say, okay, you can make $50,000 in one one day with this. You can make $100,000 in one day. You can make $10,000 a day with this one play, right? But they're not leaving out the most important part. They're not leaving out the most important part. They are telling you, you're going to have to work for this shit, yo. 
You're going to have to work for this. Everybody on here who is trying to avoid the work part, trying to avoid the getting good part. I got rude. I got a rude awakening for you, yo. You cannot avoid it. It's unavoidable. You're going to have to work hard. If you want the easy life, you got to make the hard decisions. If you want the easy life, because that's what people say to me. People tell me all the time, man, Mitch, you so lucky, man. You got the easy life. Everybody don't got it like you. You got it on easy street. I'd be like, damn, for real? Is that really true? Is that what y'all see when y'all look at me that I got on easy street? Man, if y'all knew how hard I work, man, how hard my brain got to keep going, how many hours. Bad, somebody called me. If y'all knew how hard I had to work, if y'all knew how much hours I had to put in, if y'all if y'all knew what I had to sacrifice, y'all would never, ever in your life say that I had it on easy street. If y'all knew the investments I made, if y'all knew the losses I took, the friends that I've trusted and lost, if y'all knew what it took to be here, y'all would never say I had it on easy street. But now for you to literally, I want y'all to really think about this. For you to have the easy life, you got to make the hard decisions. For you to have a hard life, you got to make easy decisions, right? You got to have, a, you got to go the easy route. If you want a hard life, you got to take the easy route. If you want to get the easy life, you got to take the hard route. This is, look, it's a simple concept. I don't care who you talk to. It's a simple concept, yo. Think about this right now. Listen to me. Y'all really, I, I got to paint the picture. I want y'all to imagine this. My boy Justin talked to me about this. Somebody just mentioned Justin. I want y'all to talk. I want to talk to y'all about the highway. So when it comes to life, life is like a highway, right? Let's just use the education perspective, right? The VIP link is at 1 p.m., cat. So just make our it's at one it's on the schedule it's already set up everybody should know it's at one it's on the schedule all right so look at the schedule it's at one o'clock but now let's talk about the highway let's talk about the highway now, all of us have the opportunity to get on the highway right now once you get on the highway i want you to picture a literal highway so that's the path you're on you're going straight on the highway so just i want to i want y'all to stay with me so y'all understand this because y'all a lot of y'all will never understand this highway analogy, right? Everybody has the opportunity to get on the highway. So we're going to use your education for uh, example. You get on the highway and you start going straight down the expressway. Now, this is the free game. Y'all jumped on the highway. Y'all started listening to Pushman Mitch. I'm like, yeah, here goes this game. Do this, play, do that. Do this, do that, right? And then I say, listen, I got another opportunity for you here. Look. But in order to keep going on the highway, you got to pay a toll. It's $200 to stay on. A lot of y'all, as soon as y'all hear the word $200, you jump off the highway and you go get off. So you'll never know what would have happened, what information you'll get, what access you'll get. You'll never know what friendships, what relationships you'll get if you stayed on the highway. Because as soon as you, you opted out of that information, as soon as you heard 200 and you jumped off the highway. Some of y'all paid that 200 and y'all got access, y'all got proximity, y'all got information, and y'all kept driving. Y'all kept driving down the highway. And then you've seen another toll. It says, yo, stay on the road to learn how to make 100 k but it's going to cost you $5,000. That's the toll. You're going to have to pay $5,000 to get to this information that's going to teach you how to make $100,000. Some of y'all heard the word 5000 Y'all said, oh, Tom, that's my exit. That's my exit. And then you got off the exit. And you didn't get those relationships. You didn't get that proximity. You didn't get all, none of that. You didn't get any of that, right? You don't get none of that information. You literally jumped off of the highway. You decided that my, I don't, $100,000 is not worth $5,000. That's what y'all said. These relationships that can make me an abundance of money is not worth $5,000. So you got off the exit. It just is what it is. It just is what it is. And do I got my wallet? Hold on one second, y'all. I got to pay for this drink real quick. I know.
opportunity, man. Can I pay for the people behind me, too? Sure. I don't know if it's two cars. Do two cars. Two cars behind me. Like, two cars. Instead of just... All right, cool. Hold on one second. I got to use Apple Pay, so hold on. Hold on one second. I'm going to finish it. I'm going I'm to I'm let you... I'm going to finish this, but hold on. Let me get this Starbucks real quick. I got to pay Apple Pay. Hold on one second. Y'all know that the, the live messes up when I use Apple Pay, so hold on one second. All right, bet. Appreciate you. All right, make sure y'all can hear me. I was using Apple Pay, so sometimes it'd be fucking up. Ooh. Thank you. I needed that. Appreciate it, you too. I don't give a I'm up my, my Lambo four times. Okay, cool. So now, this. Oh, look. I want y'all to see the screenshot. Look, look at, look, look at what guy do i'm gonna show y'all something real quick let me teach y'all something so i seen somebody okay okay look look i seen somebody check this out peep this game peep this game i want y'all to see what happens what, what, what happens when you put this energy to the world so look i had a hater on the live let me let me see what happened he's probably going now but I, I had a hater on the live he said i'm not paying for your star starbucks bro peace he said trying to convince your customers to pay hmm listen to me so now what happened happened was I was in line of y'all anybody who follows me knows anytime somebody's behind me at Starbucks literally every single time someone is behind me at Starbucks y'all know that I pay for them right so now think about it like this I was I just paid for people's Starbucks now I want y'all to see something look at what happened when I did that that the universe just blessed me watch this I just took a screenshot of what happened as soon as I got done paying for the Starbucks look at this look at can y'all see the top of that screen if anybody can see the top of the screen, tell me what it say right there. It says Katie's requesting to check in July something do something for I'm gonna get four thousand or forty six hundred dollars. Y'all see that? Can y'all? I, I want to see. If, it looks confusing because it's the same screen. But can y'all see that? Look at look, look at this. Hold on, another screenshot. Bam! I got it. It's even better. Peep this. Peep this. Hold on. Look at what it say. It says hey, you can earn forty six fifty six for hosting. Do y'all see how that y'all see how the world works? Do y'all see that what happens when you do when you listen, y'all don't y'all still ain't get it. So let me explain this highway analogy real quick. Y'all y'all still don't get it. But I want y'all to see something for real. I want y'all to really realize something for real. The energy that you put into the world is the is the same energy you get back. If you take from the world, the world will take from you. If you give to the world, the world will give to you. I promise you that. So now with that person who said that on the live and probably is not even on the live no more. What they fail to realize is they are, they are mentally stopping themselves from ever learning any new information because they think that the world is out to get them. They think, oh, you're trying to convince your customers to pay. I'm explaining an analogy, period, about life. So you're on the highway. The, the highway isn't just push man Mitch. There are going to be opportunities outside of me that I don't want you to miss. That's why the acronym for poor is passing over opportunities repeatedly. So you are going to pass over opportunities based off of what you think it's worth and what you think you're worth. So I explained the highway analogy. So first of all, everybody can get on the highway. So you jump on the highway. As soon as Pushman Mitch or anybody else says, hey, it's going to be $200 to come to this situation. 
you're going to say, you know what? $200, I think me learning a little bit more is worth $200. So you stay on the highway. You keep riding. You say, fuck it, I'm cruising. I like this. I'm learning some new information. I got some new contacts. I got some new friends. I learned how to get new followers. I learned how to set up a webinar funnel. I learned how to do a, a, my own funnel where I can make money from an ebook that I create once and sell forever. And then he said, you know what? If you pay me $5,000 more to stay on the highway, I can show you on the highway. Once you pass this road, this exit, this is where everybody learns how to make 100K or better. But you got to pay 5K to stay on the highway and pay the toll. You're going to be like, well, mm, I'm going to just get off the highway right here because I don't feel like $100,000 is worth 5000 I don't feel like the, the, the contacts and all the people who can pass this road that I'll be able to network with are worth $5,000. So I'm not going to pay that $5,000. So I'm going to get off the exit right there. So as soon as you get off the exit, you say, I don't want that information. I don't want that proximity. I don't want that energy. I don't want the $5,000 energy. I want great value energy at Walmart. Fuck it. That's really what you're saying. I want great value energy at Walmart. I want the unemployment energy. I want to, when I pay to ask the government to pay me for being unemployed, I want that money. That's what I want. I want food stamp money. I want to not work in the government to give me food stamps. That's what you are saying. I swear. I'm not trying to insult you. It's just reality. Now, after you say I'm on a roll, I pay $5,000, i am going to continue on. Now, you're going to learn how to make a little bit more money because you pay $5,000. You're going to learn. You're going to have some better friendships. You're going to have some better relationships because you pay 5000 and you kept going on the highway. Now, you're going to come across this crossroads. It's going to be another exit up there a couple miles up. It's going to say, hey, if you pay $10,000, i am going to get you in a proximity of the millionaires. So now you're going to be able to network with the millionaires, have their access, their relationships, their networks, their contacts, and you're going to learn how to make money with us. Do you want to stay on the highway? You're going to say, hmm, I don't think $10,000 is worth me learning how to make a million dollars. So I'm getting off the expressway right now. I'm getting off right now. Fuck all that. I, and you will never know what's past that exit because you have blocked it out of your mind, of your reality, of your situation. You don't want it. So a lot of people will blame everybody but themselves when the opportunity came. A lot of y'all prayed. Some of y'all said, God, please show me the way. God said, yo, here, hey, I'm going to get this opportunity to you. Go ahead and jump on it. You're going to say, ah, I don't want to do it. Well, you just prayed to me and told me to give you the opportunity. I, I'm telling you, this is I had to deal with this with God. I had to say, damn, am I retarded? I had to say that. One day I had to be like, yo, am I slow? Am I missing something? Because I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't be out here calling girls B words. I don't be out here doing all of this stuff like that. Yo, I'm like, why am I not getting blessed? Like, why, why am I not wealthy? I don't understand. And I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to God. I'm like, yo, what the fuck going on? And what I realized was he was giving it to me. He was giving me friends. He gave me all of these contacts. He gave me all these. Look at, look at your phone contacts on your phone right now. He gave me all of these contacts on my phone that I can call and try to work with. He gave me all these people and when I went to high school, elementary school, middle school, that know me, that I can network with because they know me. They don't even have to, they don't have, I, they don't even have to know me, know me. They can know of me. And because they know me, they will talk to me. They will shop with me. They will work with me. They'll be open to hearing me out. God gave me all of these contacts. He gave me all of these uh, access to different LA fitnesses, different lifetime fitnesses, different uh, Equinox, where I can go network with people. And he gave it to me. I was like, and I wasn't using it. I, I'm literally not choosing to use my access. And I was like, hmm. So now I'm actually insulting the blessing. You get what I'm saying? I'm insulting the gift. Because I could literally go use it, but I'm choosing not to use it. I can go work harder. Look, I choose to go home after working a little bit of a day's work. I can work two hours in a day, right? Think about it. I want you to really think about this. I can decide with my 24 hours that God has blessed me with, right? God gave me the, the alley-oop. He said, look, go out here and live. You got 24 hours a day. You can sleep a little bit. You can wake up and work even harder if you want to, but you don't have to because you got free will. All right? God gave me this opportunity. So I can work two hours and then I can chill. I can go flirt with some chicks. I can go to the club. I can pop a bottle. I can go to the strip club. I can go, you know, spend time just, you know, doing whatever I want, playing video games. But God said, if you wanted what you said you wanted, which was a lot of money, you should be working, right? If $10,000 access is what you need, then you should go work to get the $10,000, right? Oh, if, oh, oh, I'm going to give you access to, even if you don't got the money, I'm going to give you access to banks that will give you credit. If you ain't even got that credit, I'm going to give you access to friends that you can borrow from. If you, if, if you ain't got friends you can borrow from, I'll give you access to items that you can trade for. What does that 
me that you can trade for. Nigga, it's a nigga you can trade video games for for money. It's a nigga you can trade shit that's already in house. You got a, a poster on your wall, you can put it on offer up. It's, it's, it's something you can trade of value. You have a skill set. You can do landscaping. I can trade my skill set of literally mowing the grass and trimming the hedges for income. If that's what I needed, I gave you the tools to be out there and go out and go get what you said you wanted. So you needed 10000 to go get that proximity. All you got to do is use that skill I gave you, which is to go cut grass. Oh, you can sing. Oh, you want to do a cover band? Go, go book a couple gigs. You know how to write music? Go write some music for some people and exchange it for money. You gave it to me already i had to realize it so i'm sitting there on my gold mine and praying and god is like nigga i've been giving this shit to you for years i can choose to use it or not use it i can choose to make an excuse and say oh this person has what i want the money is not important because i give it away every day if i want to keep my electricity on i gotta give away money if i want to keep my water on i gotta give away money if i want a place to live in i gotta give away money if i want to drive a car i gotta give away money i don't care about the money i care about the thing that money gives me so is it worth me learning how to get millions of dollars because either what my boy justin say either i'm gonna pay that to life or i'll pay it to the, the person to be able to get what i want mm -hmm. what my what Justin say? What Justin P say? You can even pay the nine hundred thousand dollars to life because you're gonna pay anyway. That's what my boy Justin P say. Shout out to Justin P. It's not an if you're gonna pay; it's a win because you're gonna pay it anyway. Either you're gonna pay it to the person that teaches you, or you're gonna pay it to life by making the mistakes. What I do when I started a rental car game? Car crashed. I didn't have the right insurance. I had to pay out of pocket. I paid way more than five thousand. I paid way more than 5000 Nigga, the car broke down. My insurance said I was doing it for rental cars. They said, we don't cover rental cars. You got to pay out of pocket. Oh, my God. I paid way more than 10000 Then I had to get the tires fixed. I tried to go to a tire guy. I, I had to pay the ignorance tax because I didn't know how much tires cost. He said, for you to get this tire, it's going to cost you $500 a tire because you got an exotic car. Hmm. Me, I'm going to just be like, okay, well, you know, I don't really know. I don't know the information on tires, so I guess you're right. You're the expert. You're the expert, tire man. Here, $500 a tire. <laughs> hey, yo, I could have paid $200 a tire. I could have paid $180 a tire. But I, instead of me paying this person to teach me about the game and get their mentorship to ask them, hey, I got these tires fucked up. Where would I go? Oh, yeah, all you got to do is go here and you can get them for the low. I keep paying for motherfucking breaks over and over. And guess what? Y'all talking about not paying 10K. I paid way more than 10K because I didn't want to pay for a mentor. So guess what? I didn't know that I can go right to AutoZone, buy one pair of brakes, and they got a lifetime warranty on the brakes. And every time I change the brakes, I can just take them back into AutoZone, show them the brand. They give me a reimbursement or they give me a new pair of brakes because I got a lifetime warranty on those brakes. So you pay for brakes once and you get the fucking same brakes over and over again. It's the same car. Every time I got to change the brakes, I got a lifetime warranty on AutoZone. And then how many times did I pay for brakes? Every single time I pay for the brakes plus labor. How much, do it, how much do it be? How much did I pay life? Instead of me paying Mitch 5000 or 10000 I paid life 166000 because I wanted to be smarter. Because I wanted to say, oh, I know better than the person who already has what I want. I know better than the person who already dr travels where I want to travel to, drives what I want to drive, lives where I want to live, be on stages that I want to be on, be in hotels. That I, I know better than him. I'm, 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 a, I'm not paying you. You're trying to get money out of me. You're trying to get me to pay your Starbucks. Y'all ain't hear what the bull said earlier? Y'all ain't hear what the bull said earlier? And that's the, that, that's the reality. So we got to learn how to stay on the highway if that's what we really want. Somebody said, that break jump just saved my, me money for the rest of my life. Just think about how much you would have paid, though. Just, just think about how much you would have paid. And y'all really don't get it. So y'all, it would appear in a form, if you're ignorant, if you're a person who has, if you're ignorant to this, to the uh, a millionaire or a wealth exchange, a wealth exchange looks like this. This dude right here has money. I don't. Listen to this right here. I'm going to give you one more bar. This dude has money. I don't. I need to go through a wealth exchange with him because he already has what I, I want to have. He already knows what I don't know. 
And I know that he knows things that I don't know. And also there's things that I don't know that I don't know. So that's an unknown unknown. I don't even know until I talk to him or get exposed to his circle or get exposed to his friendship, uh, his friends group, his relationship, his contacts that I don't even know that I didn't know it. I'm like, damn, I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. So literally, there needs to be a wealth exchange. I need to close the information gap between me and them. I need to close the information gap between me and them. So what am I going to do? What can I sacrifice to close this information gap? It has to be a wealth exchange. Otherwise, I'm going to be another statistic. Why are there statistics, guys? Why are there statistics? Do we think the statistics are made up? Just look at your friend group and everybody you know. Do you know any millionaires that's in your friend group that you can call every day, talk to them, chill with them, go to their house? Do you know any millionaires that are in your friend group that y'all go have lunch together every day? If, you, if the answer is yes, nine times out of ten, you will already be a millionaire. Because there's no way I can have friends around me that's not making millions of dollars and then tell them how to get busy. All my friends be rich. <laughs> All my friends are rich. It's, it, it just is what it is. Once you start hanging around them, we're going to always be get the, the normal conversation amongst us is about our money. It's about game. It's about leveling up. Oh, Mitch, you still ain't do this yet. Here, you got to go do this play. Here, you still ain't do this with your credit. Oh, you got to do this with your credit. Oh, you ain't do this yet. These are simple conversations that we have that literally just like you have simple conversations with your friends, just like you have simple conversations with your friends and y'all got the same amount of money, me and my friends had the same simple conversations and we got the same amount of money or more. We got millions. So you need to do a wealth exchange. That's the only thing that can disrupt your natural timeline. You're on a natural timeline. That's why I'm making y'all comment future. Your future depends on your decisions right now. Y'all know that, right? The reason you're here today is because of your decisions in your in last year. Last year's thoughts and decisions are why you're here where you're at today. Then next year's thoughts and decisions, I mean, next year's, where you're going to be next year is going to be on today's thoughts and decisions. Today, right now, your thoughts and decisions are going to dictate what your future looks like. So why I'm making y'all comment future is because I have a five-day challenge that's coming up next week. And I need y'all to join the wait list because everybody will not be able to get in. There's a limited amount of space that I can have on my Zoom. I don't have the $10,000 a month Zoom. So everybody can come. So make sure you get on the wait list. So when the ticket's released, you're going to have priority on being able to get into the free five days with me, giving up the game. And the way I put, I put together an all-star, all-star level of tell them how situation. So if you want to pull up, make sure you comment future so you can get in the wait list. And then when the tickets drop on Monday, tomorrow, you good to go so you can make sure you're in the room. I need you to come and experience the wealth exchange. It's going to be a wealth exchange. It happens for me daily. I don't know about y'all, but it happens for me daily. I deal with students daily. I deal with mentees daily. My mentees have been in my house all weekend. We have been doing a wealth exchange. Let me tell y'all something key that happened. We had Justin, a uh, top fund manager, right? We had top fund manager come here, and he said something very key. He said, I've been in real estate for going on 18 years or something like that, right? He said, I've been doing real, real estate for 18 years. He's 38 years old. He said, I got contacts for over 18 years in the real estate industry. He said he's been running a play where he's been doing it for so long that he has the, the dudes who are so loyal to him and they charge him the same prices that he never has to learn how to do drywall. He never has to learn how to do granite. All he has to do is go ahead and call and do cold calls to different people and get the jobs. And he knows that all he has to pay his guys is $1,800. Everybody is paying $3,000 a counter, $4,000. And that counts for the counter in the kitchen and the counters on top of the bathrooms. He said he has the contact. And he said, because Mitch told y'all to come to his mastermind, y'all don't got to find the granite guys. I'll allow you to use my granted guys to be able to do the deal if you find a deal. That means if you get people to pay $4,000 a countertop, you're going to be able to use his guys because you know me. This is what the relationship is. This is you passing that road. This is the access that you, you always skipping past. These people pay $2,500 and $5,000 to be able to get that content. 
Now, we already had one of the students reach out, and I put him in a group chat. He already has two deals. He already has two deals of granite countertops that need to be done. He's going to be able to use those guys for $1,800, and he can get paid $4,000 a countertop. And you don't get it because you didn't you didn't want to go keep staying on the highway. You didn't want to keep the access. You said, fuck that access. Take me to great value. I want to go to Walmart. I don't want cinnamon toast crunch. I want toast cinnamon oats. I want the fake brand. I want the cheap brand. And I don't want to work for my money. I want to get my money from the government. So give me assistance because I'm too lazy to go fucking work. God gave me a gift. He gave me a voice. He gave me hands. He gave me feet. He gave me eyes. He gave me friends. He gave me fucking networks. He gave me family. He put me in the game with a whole bunch of different players. I don't want to use them. Fuck that shit, Mitch. Take me off the highway. That's the reality. And y'all going to have to live with it. That's the reality. And y'all going to have to live with it. Because if you don't do something different to disrupt your natural pattern, if you do nothing, if you you don't do anything to disrupt your natural pattern you're going to be exactly where you and your friends and your family and your parents y'all gonna be right there when you get older you're gonna be right there in the same boat as them you're not going to be the person who disrupts the pattern i promise you i promise you if you want the easy life you got to make the hard decisions if you want the hard life you got to take the easy route this is very very simple it's a reality and y'all are choosing it. I promise you. Did y'all not see the dude on here earlier who said, I'm not going to pay for your Starbucks? Did y'all see that? And did y'all see what the world did for me? I put, look, I paid for three people's Starbucks behind me. I want y'all to notice a couple things. I want y'all to notice a couple things. I paid for the three people's Starbucks behind me. I did not wait for them to say, thank you for paying for my Starbucks. I didn't allow them to thank me. I didn't tell them to follow me on Instagram. I didn't say, hey, man, you owe me something. I just gave it to the world. I, I paid for three people's Starbucks behind me. And then as soon as I paid for their Starbucks, I got this alert. Boom. Airbnb, reservation request. You could earn 4600 So me just paying the world, me putting into the energy, not only was I giving y'all game and helping y'all out for free, because this live is free, right? Right? This live is free. Not only was I giving to y'all for free, giving y'all free game, but I gave some people some Starbucks that cost me a couple dollars, right? But the world said, damn, this motherfucker giving shit to the world. Let me give something to him. Here's 4600 Take a quick little 46 Yes, I had the work to get this Airbnb for it to be a cash flow and asset, but I don't control the bookings, Right? So I, I put the energy in the world that I wanted to get back from the world. When you give to the world, the world gives. When you take from the world, the world takes. And you are a taker. You're a taker. You're a taker. I'm just going to tell you right now. You're a taker. Because that's why that dude wanted to jump off the highway so quick. He almost crashed the car. I said, yo, I ain't, say, I ain't even say nothing about asking y'all for no money, right? I didn't say nothing about it. I was just explaining it, how the world works. And he said, oh, so you want to get money from your customers, huh? What you want to do with your customers, idiot? Think about it. That's what people really want us to do. They want us to get on these platforms and tell them that we're millionaires from doing shit for free. We are millionaires. And now because we're millionaires, we, don't, we shouldn't take money. We shouldn't be paid for our work, right? We shouldn't have customers. What are you going to do with your customers, idiot? You don't want your customers to pay you. So that means you about to start a business where you open up a storefront and everybody can walk in and grab shit and then leave and you pay for it and you use your credit to get the building. You use your credit to get the inventory and then you go into debt because I guess that's wrong. Are we stupid on here or what? You're a taker. And that's why the world's going to continue to take from you. You're a taker. You're going to have to live with it. You're going to have to live with your decisions. I don't take from the world. I know why I get shit. I'm not confused why I got the lamb. I'm not confused that I got a wide body Lambo out here. When I look at this car right here, I know damn well I work for that motherfucker. I know why I kept giving to the world. I have paid so many tolls. I done paid so much in sacrifice, friendships, energy, investments, losses, wins. I done paid so much in life. No wonder I got this motherfucker. I'm not even confused.
Let me tell y'all something. I know for a fact I'm going to have a bigger house than this. Look at my crib. This motherfucker look like the White House. Hey, listen, I am not confused. I know for 100% because of what I'm giving to the world, I am going to get more money. My next house is going to be bigger than this. This shit look like the White House, bro. I know I'm not confused. Look at the whip. Constellations above me even in the daytime. Y'all niggas got to wait till nighttime to look at the stars. In the daytime, I pull up in the whip, and I'm already under the skyline. I'm looking at Orion's belt. I'm looking like the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, all of that. The North Star, I see all of that shit in the daytime. Not confused why, though. I'm not confused why. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. At first, I was surprised. At first, I was like, in all. Now that I see how much I give to the world, I'm not surprised what the world gives back to me. I'm not surprised. I'm not. I'm, I'm serious. Y'all be surprised when shit happens. I ain't. I be like, oh, about damn time. So when I get this bigger crib, when I get a crib on two acres, my, acre, my, my crib right now is on 1.5 acres. So I got more cribs that I can build in the back of my crib. Not on, I'm not surprised by it. Also, when I get my next crib that's like 10 million, I'm not going to be surprised. Because I keep giving to the world. I keep giving shit away. I do free conferences. I did a free day summit. I do free webinars. I do free lives, free YouTube, free podcasts. I go to conferences, speak for free. I go to high schools, elementary, middle schools to speak for free. I meet people in public that don't know me from a can of paint, walk up to me, say they met me on a podcast or something. And I give them game for free. I'm never surprised when the world give me shit back. I'm never surprised. So again, common future to come to this uh this five day digital conference for all those people who don't want to come to my house in Atlanta, which I bring lovely hors d'oeuvres, and I have my private chef come and prepare your food for you and serve you on a platter, you don't like that lifestyle, sit at your own crib, sit in your own car, I don't care if you're in a work truck, I don't care if you're driving Uber, sit down on this five-day conference where I'm gonna break down rental car mastery that people pay me $50,000 for, I'm gonna break it down over five days. And I'm gonna show you how I'm able to do all of the things that I've been able to do. I attribute all my success to the rental car game. I love Airbnb, but I don't contribute all my success to it. That's my latest venture. You get what I'm saying? I love credit repair too, but that's not that I don't attribute my success to it. My success came from the rental car game. The rental car game has been around before I was born. It's going to be around after I die. If you learn how to leverage it the right way, you're going to make money forever because we not only in a rental car game, we also in the insurance game. We not only in a rental car game, the insurance game, we also in a credit game. So if you learn all three of these games, you're going to be able to make money on the highest level, dog. So that's all I'm going to say. Comment future. Let do it. Somebody said, I want to hear. I want to hear how. I think that's what they were trying to say. But they say, I want to hear a whore. <laughs> no mistake, baby. It's not no mistake. It ain't on accident. Hey, look. Let me ask y'all this. If anybody on this live... Let me let me tell you how real this is. Let me tell you how funky I keep it. Look, if anybody is on this live, peep this. If anybody is on this live, right, that was at my mastermind last night, did my brother not leave with the Rolls Royce colored in, in the middle of the in the middle of the evening? Did he not leave with the Rolls Royce colored in and then come back shortly after, maybe two hours later? My this look, we doing a mastermind. I normally don't book my exotic cars so I can let my students be able to sit in them and crank them up and be able to, you know, manifest their futures. I like them to be out here. I normally leave a couple exotics here to just to sit, right? But we still got a booking that my brother could do a prom drop-off real quick, photo shoot, and then come back, and we made a quick thousand, real quick. Made a quick another G just for the streets. Quick little thousand dollars. Here, take take that. Hey, look, we need a prom book and come. Can you show for us? It's just a photo shoot. Right there while we was at the, while I'm currently teaching. So people think that I make money only teaching. While I'm teaching, my brother 
at least with the Rolls Royce do a prom drop off, $500 an hour. They had a two hour minimum, but we only need them for 30 minutes. 500, 500, boom, we got a quick thousand. While I was at the mastermind, came back, dropped the stack off to me in my pocket, and then I paid for my own Starbucks for whoever said that. Whoever said that right there, I paid for my own Starbucks for the fucking year with that shit. Somebody said, you're a soldier based on your stuff. If you didn't have stuff, no one would listen. On God, that's true. On God, that's true. They wouldn't. Lucky for me, I got it. Lucky for me, I got it. So again. So again. Get your money up, not your funny up, because your girlfriend might need a tummy tuck. Let's go. Somebody said, stop drinking. It's not healthy. Let me tell you something. Walking around the earth is not healthy. Carbon monoxide everywhere. We got motherfucking fossil fuels being burned everywhere. Me just living isn't healthy. Me walking out the house when there's pollen flying around isn't healthy. Me going in the house with an air conditioner isn't healthy because of the different pesticides that come around when you fucking blow an AC. Look, it ain't going to stop with me drinking this coffee or drinking this chai tea. Just letting you know. It's damn near. It's not healthy to eat ice cubes. It's not healthy to drink out of plastic cups. So it don't, yo, y'all y'all can't just stop at the drink. Y'all can't just stop at the drink, man. It's unhealthy to go to a gym without using gloves or different germaphobes before you pick up the weights. But you go do that, too. Come on, bro. Don't just stop at the drink, my boy. It's unhealthy to get a haircut. Let me tell y'all, if you go to the haircut and you don't see your barber between haircuts, dropped his fucking uh, equipment or clean his equipment off with the uh, the fluid, that means you can potentially get uh, 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 you can get an STD from a haircut if y'all didn't know. If y'all didn't know that, it's unhealthy to go get a haircut at a public barber who you didn't watch clean off his clippers between cuts. Because normally, you get your haircut, you sit down, the barber cuts your shit, the next person sits down, you can get cut, blood, all that shit. He cuts with those same blades on the next person's head. And also, unhealthy, you can get a fucking uh, blood in, that fucking blood can transfer right there through your fucking skin. Oh, yeah, but you want me, you want me to worry about a fucking chai tea. I've been getting haircuts since I was fucking one years old, two years old. Don't talk to me about unhealthy, brother. No, don't talk to me about unhealthy. Life is unhealthy. Don't worry about it. I used to drink out of water hose outside my crib. I'm from Philly. I used to pull the water hose from the side of the house that been outside all day. Bugs that crawl up the water hose. Y'all got to really think about this. This is where I'm from. I'm from the hood. So bugs crawl up the water hose. There's all different types of dirt and, and diseases inside this water hose. I would take the water hose and I would drink out of the water hose outside while I was playing with my friends. Just like everybody else in my whole hood did too. Then I take myself to Miami Beach and I get into the water and the sea and the ocean water where there are fish that take dumps all day. There are all different type of life. There's people who pee in it. There's dirt. There's, there's planes dumping fucking oil, all type of shit. Nigga, life is unhealthy. So, you know, don't stop at the chai tea. You know what I mean? Don't stop at the chai tea, bro. Somebody said, that's why you let the hose run for a minute, bro. You got to clean it. Even if you let the hose run for two hours, that bitch still ain't going to be clean. Even if you let the hose run for two hours, that motherfucker still ain't going to be clean. So somebody said, don't talk about his tea. I'm just saying, don't be, don't be coming here talking about unhealthy. Don't come here talking about unhealthy, then y'all y'all half-assing it. Don't half-ass it, nigga. Don't stop at it. The plastic bottle is fucked up. The ice cube is unhealthy. 
Now, I go get a haircut all the time at once a week. That's unhealthy. I live in the, the I live in the world. That's unhealthy. Somebody said it was a joke. What was the joke? What was the joke? Who was joking? Some life's little adventure said it was a joke. What are we talking about? Who was joking? He wasn't joking about the. Tea. I need to stop drinking the tea. He was serious. What are you talking about? What are y'all talking about? He wasn't joking with the hoes. I wasn't joking about the hoes. <laughs> yeah, it's the banana nut loaf. All right, y'all. I'm out of here, man. Thank y'all so much. I'll see y'all. Make sure y'all come in future. Make sure y'all show up. Make sure y'all calendars are free Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday evening, because I'm about to teach y'all something crazy. And if you get, if you pay attention, you're going to learn something. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, It's about to go down. It's about to go down. That's all I'm going to say. I'm out.